All right, in this Blender quick tip video, I'm going to show you how you can use a feature in Blender called false color to help you set the exposure of an image that you just rendered. And this works in hand, this comes in handy um, for, you know, changing the exposure of an image so that it doesn't look too blown out or too dark. And because the way I understand how Blender works, any image that you render until you save it the image itself is in a type of raw format and if you know anything anything about a raw format that comes out of a camera the raw formats you can change the exposure on them after you take the picture that's the beauty of having a raw format blender works the same way so right now I have this scene set up y'all have seen this scene many a times now I have the brightness of this area area light which is out here shining in through the window I have it set way too bright if I was to go up here to rendered view you'll see how bright it is and you'll see that a lot of stuff is just washed out it's just way too bright now what I could do I could still go ahead and just render this image and then fix it after the fact render image now this should take I don't know maybe 20 seconds to render because it's kind of a low sample count and uh, I, I'm using two GPUs and I have my noise threshold set kind of high so it's it's going to render relatively quickly alright but you can see it's clearly overexposed I mean it's so overexposed you can't hardly make sense out of it Here's how you change it now without having to re-render it because technically or without using this feature you would literally have to re-render again after turning down the brightness of this lamp. But you can come over here to the render settings, go all the way down to the bottom where it says color management, change it from filmic or whatever setting you had it set to to false color. All right. Now once it's in false color, the areas that show up in black, those are underexposed. The areas that show up in red are overexposed. And of course, you know, the yellow areas are borderline, they're almost overexposed. So what you do, you put this in false color, and then you adjust this down so that there's no black because see this area is black meaning that's underexposed there's not enough information to tell what the textures look like or what the image looks like and when it's red it's too bright to see the textures or the colors it's washed out so the idea is to adjust this so that the red goes away and there's no black so according to this setting, this right here is now properly exposed. So if I change this from false color to filmic at this point, then see it went from that extremely bright image that was overexposed to this, which is a subtle, a subtle image. Now personally I would want this a little bit brighter and you don't actually have to put this in false color in order to adjust this. You can leave it in filmic or whichever other setting you have and then adjust it this way. Now that's right about there is how I kinda like it. Of course it needs more render samples to look good. But you can still see that it's a little overexposed here. Some of these are a little overexposed. If I was to put this in false color you could see a little red. A little red so you can tell that some parts of it is still overexposed, but not that bad. But that's a way how you can fix an image that you rendered that was overexposed. But anyway, I hope that you people found this useful. Later, people.